Chapter 1 I am bored. You are listening at novelfull.audio. I'm bored. I want something interesting to happen. Be it zombie apocalypse, alien invasion, hero summoning circle, or even the end of mankind. I want any of those to happen. I am suffering just by living. In a span of several seconds, thoughts surged within the mind of a high school student. A high school student with waist-length purple hair leaned his head on his right arm that was placed on his desk. His jade-green eyes peered outside the glass window. The high school student was none other than Keith McDowell. Chaotic thoughts flooded Keith's mind due to boredom. One plus one doesn't equal two but three. According to the laws of nonsensical operation of numbers. While Keith ignored his math teacher's gibberish who clearly didn't receive his math degree, Keith kept his attention outside the classroom by gazing through the glass window. Keith was waiting for something interesting to happen that could satiate his boredom. While Keith was gazing outside the classroom, a book entered his vision as it fell from a higher floor. Something interesting happened. Keith thought as he remembered that there was a book that fell from a higher floor, or it might even come from the sky. I'll check up on the book after class. If I am fortunate enough, I might be able to obtain it before the other students get it. With that decision in mind, Keith shifted his attention to whatever absurd thoughts came into his mind while pretending to listen to his teacher. By the power of mathematical idiocy, we can apply the degree of math supremacy. Equations can be whatever we want as long as it doesn't make sense. Math was created to, dot ring. The school bell rang, indicating the end of the school day. Keith took out his portable mirror and comb from his pocket. After combing his hair for a minute to maintain his long silky and shiny purple hair, he exited the classroom. I hope the book remained in place. While that thought came into his mind, Keith casually walked the hallways with both of his hands in his pockets. Weak piece of shit. Hand over your protection fees or else I won't protect you from my fists. A burly teenager gathered with his gang members as they surrounded a freshman from this school. Unlike the burly gang leader, the freshman was short and lanky. Wearing thick black dot-framed glasses, the freshman was an easy dot-to-dot bully nerd according to the Bullying Master 101 handbook. I, I don't have money. Can I pay tomorrow? The lanky student spoke in a shaky voice while fearfully averting his eyes from the bullies. You hear, him, boys. This piece of shit doesn't have money. Being poor is a sin. Beat him up. After the burly teenager insulted the lanky student, he commanded his gang members to beat up the lanky student. The two gang members followed their leader's command as they ganged up against the lanky student. Shoving the lanky student against the floor, the lanky student sprawled on the floor as his body squirmed in pain whenever the gang leader and gang members stomped their foot on him as if they were squashing a bug. The lanky student could only grit his teeth in pain as he endured the beatings he received from gang students. Why? Why am I getting bullied? I didn't do anything wrong. Thoughts filled the mind of the lanky student as he tried to keep his mind off the pain he endured. This was Derek Smith's first year in high school. Although he knew that Mint High School was notorious for being lawless, his parents couldn't afford to enroll him at a prestigious school. While Derek lamented his weakness as well as poverty, he was confused as he no longer felt the assaults from his bullies. Instead, he heard the groans and screams of pain from his bullies. Opening his eyes, he saw a tall and handsome student with long purple hair and jade. Green eyes. The handsome student easily lifted the burly student and slammed the burly student's body across the walls. Didn't I fucking say to bully those weaklings only when I am present? How can I stop you from bullying others if you do it secretly? How can I have a reason to beat you up if you don't bully others in my presence? The handsome student who was none other than Keith McDowell was currently scolding the infamous gang leader of Mint High, Raymond Beach. With every scolding that came out of Keith's mouth, Raymond's body would be slammed across the hallways. After he beat up Raymond until he lost consciousness, Keith proceeded to do the same process to the other gang members. 
As a result, three bodies piled up in the hallway. The perpetrator acted as if nothing happened while patting off the dust on his clothes. He even took out his portable mirror and comb to maintain the clean state of his purple hair. Purple Haze Do you want to bully me as well? I don't have money. Derek asked in surprise after seeing Keith's appearance. If Raymond was infamous for being the gang leader of Mint High, then Keith was so notorious that he received the alias Purple Haze. Various rumors were being passed on across Mint High. The rumor was none other than Purple Haze's notorious deeds. The rumors said that every hospitalized student that was assaulted by Purple Haze was having a phobia of the color purple. Hence, Keith McDowell bore the alias of Purple Haze. I don't need your money. But thanks for the entertainment. Thanks to you being bullied, I get to beat up scums like these pieces of shit. This Raymond bitch better not bully students outside my presence or else I will beat him up every time he attends school. In contrast to Keith's usually calm and quiet demeanor, this time, he was unruly as he was letting off steam. Keith was bored so fighting with bullies such as Raymond often entertained him. Placing his hand on Derek's shoulder, Keith continued. Remember to lure bullies such as Raymond to me. If you are in my presence, get bullied first so I can have a reason to beat them up. Otherwise, I will be no different from bullies like them, dot, understand. After asking Derek, Derek immediately nodded. Yes. Receiving Derek's reply, Keith no longer paid attention to him. Leaving Derek to his own accord, Keith continued walking in the hallways. Hopefully, the book that fell from the sky would be worth the wait. Chapter 2 It all started with an end note you are listening at novelfull.audio. Arriving at the place where the book fell, Keith surveyed the surroundings to locate the book. Where is that damn book? I could have sworn it fell on this place. While Keith was cursing in his mind, he finally found the book after minutes worth of searching. A book with a brown cover was held in Keith's hands. Nonsensical Mathematics for Dummies Reading the book title, Keith threw the book toward the bushes in anger. Isn't this that damn math teacher's book? Did someone obtain the book faster than me and replaced it? Thinking of the possibility that someone obtained the book from the sky instead of him, Keith gnashed his teeth in anger. I swear. If I see that thief, I'll beat him up till his mother doesn't recognize his face. After several curses, Keith recovered from anger and decided to return to his home. Unbeknownst to Keith, a black silhouette was hiding behind a pillar while holding a brown book, with the title and note on it. A shade of white curved up the face of the black silhouette as it let out a shitty grin. To think that in this life of mine, I managed to secure the end note before the end harbinger obtained it. Ha ha ha. My regression wasn't worthless, after all. I have managed to outsmart the infamous end harbinger. With this book, I can finally avenge my little sister in this timeline. Don't die, Keith. I will be the one who will end you after all you have done to me and my little sister. Ha ha ha. After letting out a deranged laughter filled with madness and grievance, the black silhouette blended with the dark background and disappeared. Next day, waking up from his bed, Keith immediately combed his disheveled long purple hair while fetching the remote control. Turning on the flat.screen TV, the news channel was live which caught Keith's interest. Breaking News A group of students from Mint High School disappeared out of thin air. Witnesses described that a flash of white light and several magic circles appeared outside the classroom. Is this the so.called hero summoning circle from the light novels or an elaborate diversion created by a notorious kidnapper? Stay tuned as Brick News debunked the cause behind this mysterious incident. Watching the news, Keith's expression couldn't help but turn sour. Damn. Why didn't I attend the morning class? I could have joined with my schoolmates to become heroes from another world. Keith remembered that the entire class who disappeared out of thin air was his schoolmates from the classroom adjacent to his classroom. So if he attended morning class, he would have noticed the commotion and joined in the fun. 
The reason why Keith wanted to become a hero from another world wasn't that he was someone filled with justice and kindness. No, he just wanted to do whatever entertained him while justifying his actions as, for the sake of the greater good. Although I don't want to attend the afternoon class, I might as well attend it since I have nothing to do. Who knows? The gods might be cautious enough to summon a second batch of heroes and my class happens to be the lucky one to get summoned. I don't want to miss it this time. Although Keith didn't have hopes that a second hero dot summoning incident would occur twice, he decided to still attend class. After taking a shower and eating breakfast, Keith wore his uniform and groomed his hair. Afterward, he rushed out of his house to Mint High School. An hour before the hero summoning circle incident, in a medium dot sized bedroom, a teenage girl with long bubblegum pink hair sat near her study desk while her attention was on a book with a brown cover. Now that I have acquired the end note before the end harbinger obtained it, I should make use of it to prevent the end harbinger from becoming a threat to this world. With a pen in her hand, Sherry Blossom twirled it and opened the book. Resting her right hand on the end note's blank page, Sherry ruffled her pink hair using her left hand as she thought of ways to take advantage of the end note's power. The end note has the power to end anything, whether it is the life of others or their fated encounter. My end note is still at stage one so my options are quite limited. I remember that the end harbinger managed to become powerful by using this end note to his advantage when he was summoned to another world along with his schoolmates. Although I prevented the end harbinger from acquiring the end note, with the end harbinger's mindset, it won't be long before he becomes powerful even without the assistance of the end note. I need to prevent the end harbinger from being summoned to another world so that he wouldn't become powerful. If the end harbinger isn't powerful, he wouldn't be a threat to this world. After muttering while she formulated her plan, Sherry used her pen to write on the end note's blank page. Keith McDowell's journey to another world will end. When she wrote that on the blank page of the end note, the sentence she wrote immediately became tinted in red. Sigh, as I expected. Stage one of end note isn't powerful enough to end a fated encounter. Sherry sighed as she thought of ways to prevent Keith's fated encounter of becoming a hero in another world. How about I write it this way? Keith McDowell's thoughts and interest in attending morning class will end. A second after she wrote that sentence, the sentence she wrote was instantly tinted in green. Ha ha ha. I am a genius. Even with the limit of stage one end note, I managed to prevent Keith from becoming a hero in another world. Although Sherry was delighted from being able to prevent Keith from becoming stronger, she suddenly felt empty inside her heart. Afterward, tears trickled down her eyes as she silently cried inside her room. Keith, why do you have to trick my sister and kill her just for the sake of a book? If you didn't do that, I wouldn't have minded you starting a harem. I know you had several affairs behind my back even when you had me as your girlfriend but I didn't mind since I know you had a good reason for it. But you have crossed the line after you killed my sister. You played with my sister's heart just to obtain her end note and killed her afterward. Thud. Sherry slammed her fists on her desk. She vented her anger from the events that occurred in the past timeline. But why? Why do I still love you after all the things you have done to me? I hate you for killing my sister but I love you for taking care of me when I was bullied and ridiculed by others. I hate how I love you. Like a broken dam, Tears kept on falling from her eyes as Sherry's bottled dot up emotions from her past life started to let loose. After regaining her composure, Sherry made up her mind. I have decided. If I can't bring myself to hate you and move on from our relationship, then as your former girlfriend, I will become your girlfriend in this timeline. Since you haven't killed my sister in this timeline, we can still be together. I only need to prevent you from becoming stronger. Only when you are weak, can I, protect you. And to prevent that incident from happening again, I need to make sure that my sister wouldn't get the end note. It's best if I obtain her end note to upgrade the stage of my end note. Only when all of that happens, can I keep you all to myself. Only I can possess you. 
With a love-struck expression on her face, Sherry's breathing became unstable as her body temperature rose. Keith just wait. I will make you mine, and mine I alone. Chapter 3 A System God Wants to Recruit Me You are listening at NovelFull.audio While Keith was walking to Mint High, his body instinctively shivered as if someone was thinking badly of him. Why do I feel like a Yandra is having lewd thoughts about me? Although Keith felt a sense of foreboding, he shrugged it off. Whatever. The crazier a girl is, the more entertaining she will be. Other than entertainment, Keith could care less about other things. He didn't even have that much interest in sex and drugs. For him, nothing was better than entertaining himself. Boredom was the bane of his existence. After several minutes worth of walking, Keith finally arrived at Mint High. The sun was shining brightly, but Keith didn't use an umbrella to cover himself from the sun. He loved to bathe in the sun as it made him feel alive. But despite bathing in the sun for almost every school walk, Keith's skin was still supple and milky white. Keith was so naturally handsome that it would put to shame those idols who became handsome through plastic surgery. As expected. Artificial appearance cannot defeat natural appearance. While Keith was admiring his looks, he opened the door that led to his classroom and he entered it unceremoniously. Placing his shoulder bag near his desk, Keith slumped on his seat and rested his head on his desk. Berg. I'm bored. School is so boring. If this school was teaching magic or immortality cultivation, I wouldn't be this bored. There wasn't any bullying that happened when I was walking in the school hallways. Did they bully those weaklings secretly again? I'll beat those bullies if I encounter them. Mint High was notorious for being a chaotic school but it was famous for having low tuition fees. Not to mention, the teachers in Mint High were underpaid so they mostly teach the students about nonsense for fun. With Keith's high intelligence, he could have entered a prestigious academy. But he didn't do that. He entered Mint High because he could beat up bullies here while the teachers wouldn't mind his actions. Only a lawless school could spice up Keith's yearning for entertainment in school life. Because of how bored he was, Keith would often practice martial arts in his free time. So dealing with untrained school bullies was as easy as an adult beating up a child. While Keith was thinking of bullying bullies in his school, the class advisor entered the classroom and placed his books on the teacher's desk. Unfortunately, I have two bad news for all of you. As you all know, the students of B. Class disappeared out of thin air this morning. Fortunately, the principal had already dealt with the press. Now that I think about it, this doesn't seem to be bad news, considering that B. Class was so noisy and their disappearance brought us peace. Forget about what I said, this seems to be good news. For that, let us all have a round of applause and hope that B. Class won't return. After announcing the bad news which turned into a piece of good news in the words of their advisor, most of the students followed their teacher and clapped, causing the A.class classroom to be filled with a round of applause. As for the second bad news, Mr. Meth, our A.class math teacher, was arrested for taking illegal drugs. Because of a police investigation, our principal was accused of recruiting a homeless person with no math degree. Mr. Meth being arrested is not bad news. The bad news is that due to the police finding out about our principal's misdeeds, the principal was forced to hire a professional math teacher under the recommendation of the police department. I don't know why the heck the police are sticking their noses to our Mint High's affairs but for the sake of our Mint High's non-existent good reputation, we must be law-abiding citizens and finally let you all be educated to learn true mathematics. After the A.class advisor announced the bad news, the majority of the students cried and grieved as they wouldn't get high marks in mathematics anymore. Now that one good news and one bad news have been announced, let us all start with today's lesson. While their advisor was lecturing them about the English subject, the students paid attention to his lecture except for Keith. Keith rested his head on his desk while waiting for class to end. Arc. Why are the gods not cautious enough? They should summon me and my class to become heroes in another world. 
having two is better than one. While Keith was complaining that nothing interesting happened in his class, he could no longer handle the suffering of boredom. God, I had never prayed to you but this time, I will make an exception. I don't know why I felt as if all of the interesting and entertaining events were stolen from me, but please use your God powers to make my life interesting. If you fulfill my prayers, I don't mind working for you as long as it is entertaining. Although Keith didn't have much hope, he still hoped that God would listen to his prayers. Before Keith could conclude that God was dead so his prayers couldn't be fulfilled, an unfamiliar notification sound was heard in his mind, ding. The God of worldly systems, System Akami, has heard the prayers of Keith McDowell. Lord Systema has listened to your prayers and wants to recruit you as his system creator assistant. After seeing a blue dot colored system screen appearing in front of him as well as hearing a robotic voice inside his mind, Keith wasn't shocked as he was expecting to get a system or any supernatural things. Instead, he was euphoric. With a system, he felt that his upcoming days would no longer be boring. What's the price I would pay for becoming System Akami's assistant? Also, how much is my hourly wage if I work under him? Chapter 4 Are You, a Mortal, Not Afraid of Death? You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. With a straight face, Keith asked the system about the payment he would receive by becoming System Akami's system creator assistant. Keith wasn't like those religious people who would willingly become a herded lamb by the so. called Lord God. No, he was just a simple young deist who wanted to have some fun. So serving the Lord God for free was not in line with Keith's values and principles. LMAO. I didn't expect that a mortal would ask a god about his wage. Shouldn't you mortals be honored that you are serving Lord Systema? If not for Lord Systema, those protagonists wouldn't receive their system cheat skill. And because of that, there wouldn't be any system.themed novels in the entire multiverse. And if those system.themed novel fans found out that you are the cause of the disappearance of system.themed novels in the multiverse, wouldn't you be hated by the entire inhabitants living in the multiverse? Hearing the out dot of dot personality tone that came out from the system, Keith ignored it and insisted on his words. I don't care about that. All I care about is whether I get paid for being a system creator. Only a dumbass who has nothing better to do in his life would work for free. Now be honest with me, will I get paid or not? Keith demanded the system tell him about his payment. He didn't care about receiving divine punishment from the gods if he acted arrogantly towards a system god. My, my. Did you really think that you have an option here? You must have read too many system novels with good endings. The time I established a soul link with you and communicated with you, it was the time I have already integrated with your soul. In other words, I am already your system whether you like it or not. I can even kill you so forget about receiving payment, you might not even receive any power up if you displeased me and Lord Systema. Did you really think that this is a system.themed fantasy novel where you are the protagonist and everything went according to the way you wanted it to be, I'm sorry to disappoint you, it is not. If you still have the end note from the universal god of insurmountable end, then I dare not be this arrogant and overbearing towards you. But you don't, it was stolen from you. While the system was ridiculing Keith, Keith didn't pay attention to the majority of what the system had set aside from one thing. So that's why I felt as if something important from me was taken. I knew it. The book that fell from the sky should have been mine. And according to the flat blue screen, the book is called The End Note. How dare you ignore me? How dare you call me a flat blue screen? I'll let you know, I might be flat in my system form, but my human form has the perfect bust. Even Lord Systema can't get enough of fondling my breasts. When Keith heard that from the blue screen, his eyes gazed at the blue screen and the one behind the blue screen as if he was looking at two pieces of walking and breathing heaps of trash. Disgusting. A so. called Lord God had sex with flat boxes. I can understand if someone wants to fuck a dragon girl, fox girl, or cat girl. And the last of my bottom line is knowing that someone wants to fuck a sword spirit girl. But seriously. 
a dignified god had sex with boxes. Thinking about those so dot called men of culture with weird fetishes, Keith couldn't help but shudder. So what? A god can do whatever he wants to do. Who would stop him? You, a mortal. As usual, the blue screen ridiculed Keith for being a mortal. Keith could tolerate it since it was indeed true that he was a mortal. But he couldn't tolerate one thing. Nah, I don't care much whether your Lord God fucks a box or a cat. But when the heck are you going to tell me about my damn payment? As expected of Keith. Even if his boss was a Lord God, he would still ask for payment. Payment. What's that? You are just a slave of the system, now that I have been integrated into your soul. I will overwork you until you can be a useful brainwash tool for Lord Systema's disposal. For the first time in his life, Keith saw a god who was thick dot skinned and shameless. Because of that, he was infuriated. What I hate the most aside from boredom is being enslaved by others. You want me to be the slave of a trash god. I will kill myself so that you won't be able to use me. It's better to die than to be the slave of others. When the blue screen heard Keith's outrageous words, it couldn't help but laugh. Ha ha ha. Do you dare? Hearing the blue screen's words, Keith didn't answer its question but went out of his seat and did something. Oi. Keith. Why the fuck are you opening the window in the middle of my lecture? Yes, Keith opened the window which caused his advisor to question his actions. Of course, Keith ignored his advisor as always. Do you dare? I remember that Lord Systema once said that mortals such as you are afraid of death the most. This time, Keith responded to the blue screen's words. My classroom is on the fourth floor. All I can say is, that as a martial artist, I can control my body in mid-air despite the air resistance. I will make sure that my head will face the ground during my fall. Does that answer your question? Donning a smug look, Keith answered the blue screen with certainty and confidence in his words. Are you, a mortal, not afraid of death? Keith nonchalantly stared at the blue screen and responded. I am not afraid of death. What I am afraid of, is living a dull life. What can be duller than having your life enslaved by others? So if you want my assistance, then pay me. Even after saying those heart-wrenching words, Keith didn't forget to state his purpose of letting the Lord God pay him for his work. Sigh, you passed the test. Lord Systema doesn't want a spineless coward as his assistant or else it will ruin his reputation. For a second, Keith sported a confused look when he heard the blue screen's words but immediately, he donned an enlightened sage expression as if he comprehended the universal truth. Ah, I see. So all of what you said before was to test me. Yep, it was just a prank. Hearing the system's words, Keith nodded and closed the window. Ignoring his advisor and classmates, he sat back in his chair. If so, how much is my damn payment? Chapter 5 Sub System System Creators Privilege You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Keith ignored the system so. called prank. He didn't care if it was a prank or just the system screwing with him. But what he cared about the most was the topic of his payment. For your payment. You can get a gift starter pack like what all system users have. Of course, that's not all. Lord Systema will allow you to choose from three abilities but you can only choose one. As for what those three abilities are, they will be displayed to you after you opened and received the gift starter pack. Although what I have said before was a prank, it was indeed true that I have integrated into your soul so you have no say in whether you want to remain an ordinary person or become a system user. Hearing the system's words, Keith didn't care much about the system forcing itself on his soul but he was delighted when he heard that he would not only receive a gift starter pack but also one ability. Keith was well aware that the ability he would receive wouldn't be too overpowered which would allow him to have the strength of a god at the start but it would still not be too trashy or else he would curse and call System Akami a stingy god. Open the gift starter pack. Ding. Keith has opened the gift starter pack. 
Keith receives a sub dot system. The sub dot system can be whatever Keith wanted it to be as long as it is not too overpowered. Of course, after Keith specified the use of the sub dot system, the use of the sub dot system cannot be changed. Receiving his gift starter pack, the gears inside Keith's mind started to turn as he decided to use all of his intelligence so that he wouldn't regret this decision of his. Can I have a sub dot system that allows me to become a god? Despite the system's warnings about a sub dot system not being too overpowered, Keith decided to test the waters first. After all, Keith didn't know what were the standards of the system of calling something overpowered. No, you might as well say that you want a sub dot system that allows you to usurp the current universal god of worldly systems. Keith ignored the sarcasm from the system's words. At least he knew that he couldn't get a sub dot system with the power that rivals a god. It shouldn't be impossible to get a sub dot system that has the growth potential that allows me to become a god. So I should design a sub dot system that can potentially make me a god in the future. When Keith thought of that, his mind instantly lit up with a bright idea. System, I want a sub dot system that allows me to replicate the abilities and power of the system users that were bestowed with the system that I had created. Dot, wait, I will ask Lord Systema if he allows this. After waiting for five minutes, the system finally responded to him. Lord Systema agrees. The sub dot system will be called System Creators Privilege or SCP for short. The SCP sub dot system will allow you to have the same abilities and power as the system hosts that possessed the system that you had created. For example, let's say a human named Mark has the Lust system. If Mark's abilities are extreme libido and my big brother, you will receive them as well. If Mark's power level is at high realm initial stage, your power level will also be the same. There is no limit to how much system user's power you can replicate. Even if you replicate more than one system user's power, it is allowed as long as they are system users with the system you had created. The power of multiple system users can be superimposed into your body since the SCP sub dot system will make sure that different power systems wouldn't conflict in your body. Keith was delighted that for once, the system and its creator were finally being fair to him. The abilities possessed by the sub dot system were what Keith had wanted so he was glad that Lord Systema didn't nerf it. That's not all. As compensation for what I had done before, there will be another ability included in the SCP sub dot system. To prevent the system creator assistant of Lord Systema from being killed by his system creations, another ability was added to the SCP sub dot system. Keith will never be harmed by the system users who possessed the system you have created. Let's say the Lust system user Mark wants to fight Keith so that he will be the only harem king on planet Earth, no matter how powerful Mark is, he will never be able to harm you as long as Mark still has the system that you had created integrated into his soul. All of Mark's attacks will be nullified if Mark targets you. There won't even be a loophole since even if Mark accidentally hits you with his attacks, it will be nullified when it comes into contact with your body. Also, you can remove the system that you have bestowed to system users. If you remove the system from them, their power will be reverted to when they haven't obtained the system. Furthermore, removing the system from them will not affect the power you have replicated. To be honest, Keith started to doubt whether what the system had told him was true since it was too good to be true. At the start, the system had antagonized him but now, it was offering good benefits to him. Although he wasn't used to the system's current personality, it doesn't mean that Keith wasn't delighted for the system to act that way. Can I now choose from the three abilities that Lord Systema will bestow on me? Chapter 6 Eyes of Heaven You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After receiving the SCP sub dot system as well as learning about its features, Keith asked the system about the three abilities that would be presented to him. Yes, wait, I will present it now. But remember, you can only choose one of the three abilities. Body Immortality The physical body will be immortal. Extreme Physical Regeneration and Infinite Stamina But, even if the body does not age, the soul will age and therefore, lead to death. Can be considered as false immortality. Eternal Youth The physical body and soul body aren't immortal, 
but possess age immortality. So even if millions of years passed by, the body and soul will not be eroded by the flow of time. Also, the body will be immune to diseases but not to poison. Can be considered as being virtually immortal. Eyes of Heaven The eyes that can see through flaws and imperfections. It can see through anything, whether it is illusions or evil intentions of others. Can even be used to discern truth from lies. This is engraved from the soul so even if the physical eyes are removed, you can still use this ability. Immune to blindness and illusions. Even after reincarnation, this ability will be retained. Seeing the three abilities in front of him, Keith couldn't help but want to say something in his mind. Dot, only a child would choose, an adult wants them all. But, I don't want to choose all of them since if I become too overpowered, my life will be boring. Keith was well aware that if he negotiated with Lord Sistema, he could obtain all three of those abilities. But he was well aware that if he became too strong, the world will no longer be that entertaining to him. Entertainment could also be found in thrill and fear but if became too strong, he would never be able to feel such emotions again. So, Keith decided that he would only choose one of those three abilities. Body immortality is too tasteless. If I don't fear physical death, I would never be thrilled from being a death seeker. It can also be considered a curse since if ever I got bored in life, I could never kill myself physically and could only wait till my time ends. With that thought in mind, Keith removed the body immortality ability from his choices. On the other hand, eternal youth isn't that restricting compared to body immortality. But I know that with the assistance of the SCP sub dot system, I would be able to obtain a skill that could increase my lifespan from my system users. Although this is useful, it is too useless now that I have a sub dot system that can replicate the skills of my system users. With that, the Eyes of Heaven ability was chosen by Keith. Keith, are you certain that you will choose Eyes of Heaven? You can't have second thoughts after you receive the skill. Lord Systema won't give you a refund if you regret it. Hearing the reminder from the system, Keith mentally nodded toward it, ding. Eyes of Heaven skill has been received by Keith. Does Keith want to integrate it? Do it. After agreeing to the system, Keith felt a stinging pain in his eyes. Although not that excruciating, it still felt as if some dastardly bees had stung his eyes. Since it wasn't that painful and the pain was just irritating to Keith, he didn't scream or caused a commotion in his classroom. Otherwise, it would be too embarrassing if the infamous Purple Haze was screaming like a bitch in the classroom for no reason. After a minute or so have passed, Keith felt that his eyesight had become clearer than before. For comparison, it was like seeing a picture of 360 resolution and 4K resolution. Peering outside the window, Keith could even see places that were several kilometers away from his current location. And if Keith wanted to, he felt that he could see through objects and that was just one of the many features of his eyes of heaven. As for the eye color of his eyes, they remained the same jade green hue that he had. It seemed that his eyes of heaven skill didn't possess any additional visual effects and was integrated with his eyes as if he was born with that skill. For an auxiliary skill, the eyes of heaven was quite powerful. Keith didn't even feel any substantial exhaustion when he used it. System, can I now start using the system creator system? After all, I have already opened my gift starter pack as well as received an ability from Lord Systema. While referring to the god of worldly systems, Keith added honorifics since he no longer despised Systema Kami as well as the system. If he did, that would be too shameless and ungrateful considering the power he had received was obtained from them. And now that he was the system creator assistant of Systema Kami, the god of worldly systems could now be considered his boss. Okay, wait. I will now assign you your first task. Ding. Keith has been assigned his first chain task. Complete all sub dot tasks to receive the unspecified reward. First chain task. How to become a qualified system creator. First task. Create a soul parasite type system. Chapter 7 Soul Parasite Type 
training system you are listening at novelfull.audio. Upon reading the system screen, Keith was confused, but after summarizing his knowledge of system novels, he began to understand. So there are different types of systems. Those sentient ones that leech off their host and enjoy their suffering should be soul parasite type. As if asking for confirmation, Keith gazed at the system screen in front of him, waiting for the system's response. Yes, Keith. There are three types of systems. The most common one is the soul parasite type. The majority of soul parasite dot type systems are sentient except for a few rare cases. They leech off their host and act like a soul parasite would do. There are also situations where soul parasite systems not only make their host suffer but also scheme against their host to take over their host's body, just like what a parasite would do. The second type is the artifact type system. The majority of artifact dot type systems are non dot sentient and those that are sentient are those artifact dot type systems that have an artifact spirit. Even if an artifact dot type system is sentient, they are more loyal and considerate to its host, unlike what a soul parasite system would do. Their relationship with their host is like what a sword and swordsman's relationship would have. The third type is the divine type system. It depends on the situation whether a divine type system is sentient or not. Or rather, it depends on the purpose or goal of the system. They are considered to be neutral and would only choose hosts that they deem as the chosen one. Dot. Remember that not all systems are created and under the jurisdiction of the universal god of worldly systems. It is inevitable for artificial systems to be created. A system is called artificial if it isn't created by system akami. Also, the type of system a system would be will have an impact on its origin even if it is of the same system. For example, let's say there is a time system that allows its host to wield the power of time. A time beast who died and had its soul escape from the cycle of reincarnation could become a soul parasite type time system. A sentient artifact that has the time element could reincarnate itself into an artifact dot type time system. On the other hand, the fragment of time god could become a divine type time system. Although their origin might be different, their essence is still the same. There is also another type of system but it is a system that cannot be created by the system creator system. The system lectured Keith about the three types of systems, as well as the difference between those three. Because of that, Keith became more knowledgeable about those types of systems. But after reading about the system's previous message, Keith's interest was piqued. Oh. There is a system that cannot be created by the system creator system. Let me guess, it is the system that rebelled against system Akami or the laws of the multiverse. Dot. How did you know? Listening to Keith's thoughts, the system was astonished by Keith's guess. Isn't it obvious? Aside from systems that couldn't be created by the system creator system due to lack of power or energy, the most obvious answer is that. Anyways, how do I create a soul parasite type system? After answering the system's question, Keith replied to the system with a question regarding system creation. Just use the SCP sub dot system. Contrary to what you think, Creating a system is very easy as long as you have the system creator system. Hearing the system's reply, Keith summoned the SCP sub dot system as another blue screen appeared in front of him. System creator. Keith McDowell, systems created. None, number of systems that can be created. One, system slot. Not applicable, do you want to create a system? Yes, no, tapping the, yes button, another blue screen appeared in front of him. Dot, due to the other system types being unavailable, the system type is immediately set into soul parasite type by default. Creator, please input the effect of the system you want to achieve. System input, underscore underscore underscore, seeing that the system input was blank, Keith typed and filled in the system input via his mind. System input. A system that allows the host to become stronger by training such as performing 100 sit.ups, 100 push.ups, 100 squats, and a 10 kilometers run. 
Rewards are in the form of an increase in attributes regarding the training performed as well as skills. Inventory is included in the system feature as well as status but there aren't any system shops. Ding! Creator has developed an unnamed system. What will the creator name the newly created system? Training system. Ding! Training system has been created. After the system prompt, a blue dot colored worm appeared above Keith's right palm. The blue dot colored worm was only visible to Keith's eyes so it didn't attract the attention of his classmates and advisor. So this is a soul parasite type system. It does look like a parasite. Keith marveled at the soul parasite dot type system's appearance, his eyes gleaming with curiosity, ding. First task. Create a soul parasite type system. Completed, second task. Grant the system to any living being. New. Chapter 8 Why is everyone stealing my destiny? You are listening at NovelFull.audio. After Keith read the contents of his second task, he had already expected such a task to occur. But the problem was that he didn't find any suitable host for the training system yet, or at least to his current knowledge. I could give this to any bodybuilder but I don't know anyone who fits that requirement. Not to mention, granting the system to anyone who isn't under my surveillance would prove detrimental to my entertainment. Although Keith didn't doubt that the soul parasite could act as his surveillance camera to spy on his system user, he preferred to witness it personally and not through a shared vision from his system. I could give the training system to any of my classmates and schoolmates but so far, none of them had piqued my interest. Keith recalled all of his acquaintances within Mint High but none of them were interesting to him. I need to choose someone familiar with fictional materials that included the system genre so that they would be able to use the full potential of the training system. Not to mention, that someone must not be lazy and have the great discipline to continue training non-stop. The training system is tantamount to those RPG games with ridiculous requirements for in-game grinding. If a gamer is lazy and doesn't grind for hours, they wouldn't be able to get powerful equipment. And the same applies to the training system. If the system user doesn't endlessly train themselves and just lays around the couch, then their attributes wouldn't increase. The motto. No pain, no gain, and grinding is eternal fits the training system the best. Although Keith could grant the training system to anyone and the SCS, system creator system, wouldn't restrict him from doing that, he understood that he couldn't give the system to just anyone. After all, the system user would be his stepping stone to becoming powerful. If the system user that he had chosen couldn't bring out the full potential of the training system, then the power he would receive would be meager compared to having a host that could bring out the full potential of the system. If the system user is powerful, then I am powerful. If the system user is weak, then I am also weak. That should be my relationship with the system user from a power perspective. Of course, if the system user is powerful, I could still easily kill him just by taking away the system from him. Unless that system user managed to obtain power outside the system's influence. After thinking about that possibility, Keith now remembered why those smart protagonists in system novels would find a source of power outside the system's influence. It was for the possibility that their system would be taken away from them. That possibility had entered Keith's mind when he received the system creator system. But, he didn't care much about it. After all, what Keith sought was not power, but entertainment. He could roughly guess that System Akami must also have the same motive as him, which was to seek entertainment. And since he had guessed that the two of them had the same interest, then he had also concluded that as long as their interest aligned, then it shouldn't be a problem. Keith wasn't prideful and arrogant enough to think that a divine existence such as Universal God would take advantage of him. Even if System Akami did, that was the least of Keith's worries. For now, his worry was to find a suitable system host. And because of that, he now understood why those sentient systems wouldn't choose just anyone in becoming their system host. While Keith was resting his head on his desk and various thoughts surfaced in his mind, the periphery of his vision caught an unexpected scene. Others might not have seen it but he did due to his eyes of heaven, 
he could not only see through objects but also theoretically doesn't have any limits when it came to seeing through distant objects. Using his eyes of heaven doesn't seem to be costly and he found out that it consumed his mental power whenever he used it. But that's not the point. The point was that Keith saw a familiar figure standing on the school rooftop. That wouldn't be a problem since some odd students would have lunch at the rooftop despite the possibility of birds shitting on their lunch boxes, but it wasn't lunchtime. Not only that, the figure was standing near the edge of the rooftop. Adding the depressed expression of the student that was clearly observed by Keith, even if he wasn't a genius, he had seen through the motives of the depressed student. The fuck. Why is everyone stealing my destiny? Last time, someone stole my book. Even if the system hadn't told me about the book, it should be an artifact and someone stole my destiny of obtaining it. Afterward, for some unknown reasons, I overslept and missed my chance of joining Class B in their journey to another world. I felt from my gut instinct that I was destined to participate in those events. And my guts had yet to fail me. I remembered the time I threatened the system to jump from a high place and commit suicide but why the fuck is someone doing that now that I haven't done that? For the first time in his life, Keith felt that the world had wronged him. Of course, it was just him being overly dramatic just to entertain himself. The discovery of someone committing suicide was none of Keith's business as he wasn't a hero nor a psychiatrist. But I have to admit, this guy is quite smart. He chose that certain rooftop spot that was isolated by the school buildings. Because of that, unless someone entered the rooftop of that school building, none would be able to know that he is in there. Even I wouldn't know about that unless I used eyes of heaven. Deciding to intervene, Keith ran outside the classroom without minding his advisor and classmates' reactions. He didn't plan to save the student and convince him from halting his actions since he wasn't a no-dot-it-dot-all who could relate to the student's situation. He only left the classroom to witness the student's upcoming actions for the sake of an unusual experience of witnessing someone jump off a building. After all, it wasn't every day for Keith to see someone jump off a building. And it might relieve his boredom if he witnessed something new. Right now, it was debatable whether the student on the rooftop or Keith should be the one who must meet with the psychiatrist. But, Keith didn't mind that as he was already well aware that he was twisted. What he did mind was. That student might be a suitable host for the training system. Chapter 9 Ding Training system has been integrated. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Why? Just why am I suffering? Was I born to live and suffer? What is the purpose of my existence? Whatever it is, I don't care anymore. There are seven billion people in my race, even if I die, none of them would care. I would only be part of the death statistics. Just a statistic. I guess that's the purpose of my existence. Just to fill in the numbers. Thoughts filled the mind of a teenage student, as his brown dot-colored hair fluttered through the air. His brown eyes were lifelessly gazing at the scene below. I hate to admit it, but I am afraid. Not by death, but the pain of death. The brown dot-haired boy contemplated whether he should jump or not. He also feared whether he would mess up in dying. After all, if he failed the process of dying, he would be in the hospital, which his parents couldn't afford to pay for. This, was the darkness of society. It wasn't uncommon for this to occur. Where students who lost hope in life, decided to end their suffering. After all, living was also a kind of suffering. While death was liberation from all of the suffering that they have experienced while living. More often than not, the root of all of this was bullying. Especially when the bullied students already had a lot of shit in their life, yet someone made it worst. The brown dot haired boy couldn't even consult a psychiatrist. He didn't have the money to pay for the consultation fee. And it is not guaranteed for his depression to be alleviated if he consulted a psychiatrist, especially if the psychiatrist he met didn't care about his feelings and situation but just his money. The brown dot haired boy was none other than Derek Smith. When the bullies were hospitalized, the parents of those bullies pinned the blame on Derek and his parents. 
The one who bullied the bullies was none other than Keith but since the parents of the bullies found out that Keith's background was beyond theirs, they targeted Derek instead. The parents of those bullies' logic were. If you didn't exist, then my child wouldn't have bullied you. And if my child didn't bully you, then he wouldn't have been bullied by that monster. Outrageous, isn't it? Due to overstimulation from exasperation, Derek's father coughed out blood and fell into a coma. His mother was stressed by the absurd hospital payment that the parents of the bullied had blackmailed her with. It just so happened that one of the parents of those bullies owned the company where his father and mother had worked at. Because of that, they were fired. The victim was Derek but the parents of the bullies fabricated it as if the victims were their children. They even threatened his mother that if they didn't pay the hospital bills, they would sue his family. Some of the parents of the bullies were lawyers and politicians, and some were even from the police department. It was corruption at its finest. Otherwise, why would those bullies dare to bully weak students lawlessly if not for their strong backgrounds? Derek was well aware that if not for him being alive as well as his father being comatose, his mother would have already committed suicide from too much stress. The poor people were killed and used as fertilizer for the growth of the rich people's money tree. The poor get poorer, the rich get richer. This was one of the laws of society. Derek didn't want to add more stress to his mother. His part-time jobs couldn't even cover the cost of the hospital bills of those bullies even if he worked for a year. So, he had already decided that if he couldn't help his mother in that way, then he might as well help his mother by not being a burden to her. After a few minutes worth of contemplation, Derek had already decided what his choice would be. With that in mind, he walked toward the edge of the rooftop. But before he could take another step and jump, a blue system screen appeared in front of him. Do you want to die? Is life too difficult for you to live? Don't worry, because I am here. I will give you another chance in life. If you want revenge, I will give you the path to revenge. If you want money, then I'll give you the means of earning money. I will be the guide of your life, but, as a guide, I will not interfere in your life that often. So it depends on your effort if you want to succeed in life. For another chance in life, tap the yes button. If not, tap the no button. Yes, no, Derek was stunned by what appeared in front of him. To relieve his depression, he often watched anime or read fantasy novels. It was his form of escapism. So of course, he knew what the thing that appeared in front of him was. Looking back at his life, Derek couldn't help but let out a self-deprecating laugh. His life was too miserable, worthy of being a protagonist background. No wonder I received a system. Is this cheat skill I can use that will be the turning point of my life? I don't know the origin of this system or the purpose of its creator. But, for someone like me who had lost everything, I have nothing to lose. So be it. As long as this system can help me achieve my goals and fulfill my revenge, I don't mind helping its creator. After he made up his mind, Derek tapped the, yes, button, ding. Training system has been integrated into the host's soul. Don't worry, as long as you train and work hard, you will achieve your goal. For the first time in his life, a genuine smile adorned his face. But Derek didn't know that someone was also smiling along with him. As his J.Green eyes peered through the walls and observed Derek's condition, ding. Training system has acquired a new host. Derek Smith. Memories of Derek's life can be viewed for reference and background check. Ding. Second task. Grant the system to any living being. Completed, third task. The first system evolves to version 2. New. Two rewards have been received. Derek's memories and secrets of the world, minor, dot. It went according to Keith's plan. He was not only entertained, but he also completed the system tasks and received rewards. System, if I view Derek's memories, will it affect my personality? No, viewing Derek's memories will not be in immersion mode but in movie mode. So you will receive knowledge of his memories in the form of a movie. 
it seemed that his worries weren't needed. After receiving the system's answer, Keith used his reward and viewed Derek's memories. A second had passed in the real world but Keith had viewed all of Derek's relevant memories. Because of that, Keith knew Derek more than Derek knew about himself. Sigh. Derek has suffered too much. I don't know which twisted god had taken fancy on entertaining himself by making Derek suffer. Schadenfreude at its finest. I hate to admit it, but even my emotions are riled up from watching Derek's life. Keith shook his head as he recollected the events that happened in Derek's life. To think that it is indirectly my fault that Derek had suffered this much. A serious glint flashed in Keith's eyes after he muttered that sentence. Fishing his phone from his pockets, Keith dialed a certain contact number, ring, ring. The phone rang for a few seconds before it was picked up by the receiver. Boss, what's your command? A deep voice that came from an adult was heard on Keith's phone. The voice was filled with respect, awe, and seriousness as if fulfilling Keith's command was his life's purpose. Do a background check on Raymond Beach and all of his accomplices. What happens after I do that? Despite asking his boss, the subordinate's tone was unruly and filled with expectation, as if he already knew what was going to happen next. Do you even need to ask? You already know what's your job, L.O., just call the mafia and tell them that the fishes in Tokyo Bay are too thin. The fishes need to be fattened. Without waiting for his subordinate's reply, Keith hung up the call. Returning his phone to his pocket, Keith acted as if what he did was not a big deal but just his usual routine. Since you have become my system user, I won't allow anyone to let you suffer. Only I can let you suffer for my sake. Although I want to give you motivation for becoming stronger through the sake of revenge, I am not that heartless to let you walk on the path of self.destruction. The road to revenge is filled with thorns, and upon reaching the destination, you will only feel nothing but emptiness and regret for the ones you have lost along the way. Instead of becoming stronger for the sake of revenge, become stronger to protect the ones you love, Derek. After muttering those words, Keith walked the hallways and headed back to his class. Chapter 10 Dimensional Gate's Future Appearance You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Keith returned to his classroom, just like usual, he ignored the rant that came from his advisor. Keith knew that his advisor was acting like that for appearance's sake. In Mint High, the rarity of finding a genuine and professional teacher was as rare as finding a dragon in the middle of the street. He didn't care much about his classes since his knowledge far surpassed what those teachers could teach him. Otherwise, why would he study at Mint High instead of a prestigious school? And, the principal of Mint High would receive monthly bribes from Keith so it didn't matter much if Keith attended the class or not. It was also the reason why Keith could act as the purple haze, without having to worry about the repercussions of his actions. Even if Keith beat up a teacher, then the principal would make some excuse to cover it up. After all, the principal was the subordinate of the owner of Mint High. And it just so happened that the owner of Mint High was the subordinate of Keith McDowell. In other words, the principal was Keith's subordinate subordinate. Keith lacked anything but money. The world's richest man on planet Earth was Keith's subordinate. But despite the money he had amassed, Keith was still bored. If he had wanted to, he could have asked his subordinates to research a zombie virus and spread it all over the world to start the apocalypse. With money, anything was possible. If it was impossible, then it needed more money. Dot Planet Earth and the entire human race were fortunate that Keith received a system that relieved his boredom. Otherwise, the entire planet Earth would become a hellhole that served as Keith's playground for the sake of relieving Keith's boredom. Keith's background was second to none. He was the hidden boss of planet Earth. If he had wanted to, he could have already ruled the world with his secret forces. And because of that, dealing with Raymond Beach and his followers was just an easy task for Keith. It was easy as breathing air. Unlike Derek, Keith didn't have any family left in this world. That was why Keith sympathized with Derek's current situation and he didn't want Derek to be led astray just for a meager thing such as revenge. Keith's life was similar to Derek, 
but it was the outcome if Derek didn't jump off a building and instead, used a small amount of money to invest and slowly become the world's hidden boss. Derek used to have only two choices. To jump or not to jump. But Keith gave Derek the third choice, which was to become a system user. I hope Derek doesn't disappoint me. If he unlocks the full potential of the training system, then I will also become powerful. While Keith was thinking about that, he remembered that he hadn't used the other reward that he had received from SCS. Opening his system inventory, Keith found a white orb stored within the small inventory box. Tapping on it, Keith agreed to integrate the white orb with himself. Afterward, a stream of knowledge about the minor secrets of the world entered Keith's mind. To think my gut instinct was right. My destiny was indeed stolen and it was stolen by a pink dot-haired girl. Because of her interference, I hadn't participated in the hero summoning. As for the end note, I don't care much about it. If I didn't have the system, I might care about it but now that I have the system, it was the least of my worries. The end note might be powerful, but it can only affect the system if the end note is at its final stage. And that's assuming system Akami doesn't personally protect the firewall of the system. Although Keith slightly regretted that he didn't obtain the end note as well as participate in the hero summoning, it was just that. With the SCS, Keith knew that his life wouldn't be filled with boredom anymore, coupled with the upcoming changes that the planet Earth would face. System, are you serious? There is a dimensional gate that will connect planet Earth to another world. And it will occur a month from now. Even if Keith received that knowledge from the system, he still asked the system for clarification since it was no laughing matter. If that was indeed true, then the world would usher in a new era. The Creator is right. Not only that, 10% of the human in the world will awaken supernatural powers due to the exposure of mana. And there is also a possibility of a true world war from occurring after the connection between planet Earth and the other world had been established. Receiving the system's clarification, Keith mentally nodded in agreement. With the human race's greed being boundless, the possibility of acquiring new resources from another world will be the spark that will ignite a true world war. A war between two worlds. How exciting! My thirst for entertainment can finally be satiated.